This is a quick demonstration into my latest project. I just finished building this, my universal unlocking interface. Uh, I recently did my Nokia flasher, but I only had uh, LPT and MBUS serial connection. So I thought, uh, why not make a universal one? Put a universal port here as well and give it uh, RX and TX connection as well. But that meant making a switch between the channels so they don't interfere with one another. So as we're done, uh, let me show you what's inside here. So here you've got a Max 232 chip for the serial connection. Uh, here you've got a flip-flop chip for the printer port. This is the switch between the two. Uh, this is the M bus, F bus switch for uh, working on Nokia on this port and Bosch and other models on the universal port. Here you've got five volt input. Uh, the device can work without it. It can power itself from the uh, printer port and the serial port. But for best results, I use USB five volt. Also gives five volt to the port. Uh, some programs need that for the phone to get into uh, test mode. So let's put this back and test some phones with it. So you've got your printer port here. You've got your serial port. Here. And you've got your 5 volts. Here's the pinout. This is universal, so it will take uh, most cables that are not Nokia. So for, for Z3X boxes, Furious, Octopus, uh, pretty much anything that's not Nokia will work in here. Uh, Nokia and NS Pro cables go in here. That's the pinout there for Nokia. So if you want to work on, uh, for example, these old Nokias to flash them, you need to put it on the parallel port. Uh, this is made after the Dijon uh, design, so put that on the printer port and on FBUS to flash the software on that. So let me show you how that works. All right, so we'll use Rollis. Okay, so you go to flash, go right, select your flash file, click OK. And the flashing progress starts here. As you can see, the TX and RX LEDs are flashing because there's activity at the port. And now the flashing is complete. So let's turn the phone on. Yeah, works. So to unlock these phones, you have to switch to serial and then M bus connection. And click read. Yeah, as you can see, all the locks are open. Here's information about the phone. All right, so let's see about other brands. So let's take this Nokia phone out. Let's look at some old Ericsson. I've got my RG45 cable here. There, uh, let's plug an appropriate connector here. There's my connector, there's the phone. Plug that in there, like so. So, you can basically use any program 
with this box uh, from the universal simlock remover for example there's many many programs in here and most of them just go by uh, home one so you can use this box let's do this Ericsson here we'll use this home service program select com one uh, let's unlock it clear the lock make selected jobs so put the switch on serial and f bus connection press power and now the phone is unlocked let's see about this one the t20 so we put the appropriate connector in there t28 take the battery out we'll connect this because it's got uh, i've also connected the five volt pin here i will take the battery out so when the program asks me to press power i'll just put the battery inside so again the switch is to serial f bus connection so let's use this program here so i select t20 model uh t28 serial cable communication port one let's read the codes safer method all right so you get your battery ready here let's say do selected jobs put the battery inside and there's your codes if you unlock codes here so very easy to use it's very useful box to have uh check the link in the description if you're interested i will i will build a few of these I only have one at the moment, but I'll make more and uh, sell them. It took me about two weeks of work to to build this. So, yeah, I want to sell a couple to make it for the airport. Thanks for watching.